Hi my friends, today we'll study this mechanism, the 90 degrees coupler. As presented, the rotation comes from the input shaft on the left and get out to the right or vice versa. The functionality appears in this movie and the mechanism is presented in my former project on GrabCAD. The project can be studied on GrabCAD by clicking on the link below. The functionality is uh, interesting, isn't it? Let's create this assembly by using the components downloaded from the mentioned link on GrabCAD. New I am place the first is a stand placed grounded at origin only one instance I don't want to see this plane so I make it not visible and then components main shaft which must be constrained with insert insert to be here okay now I uh, change the view to large icons to recognize different parts this is the next one two again insert for this one to be right here apply and the other here okay place fork two instances constrain insert the first is here apply the other one is here okay good what uh, we have here well we can rotate this uh, component and this component yes they are free to be rotated the same for the other good place the pivot two instances constrain insert this circle to be over this not this but this one apply and the other where is it here it is this to be here apply then the lid two leads one two constrain the first one on this face but insert again to be placed here apply and now I want to place the center of this hole in the plane symmetry plane of this component which one is this I select it and I see the selection 
in the browser and I select here this plane yes this is the symmetry plane I need constraint this point with this plane but you see is uh, uh, not the right position so I cancel it I rotate this to the part and then I apply again the constraint of this point over this plane okay F6 now the other lead constraint this face this circle on the face to be placed here okay you see this is not uh, constraints so we apply the same constraint but to the other part constrain this point the center of the circle over this plane symmetry plane good I'll rotate them to be in proper positions something like this and now I place uh, this object constrained on the axis of the main shaft okay I rotate it just a little because I intend to place this axis over this one apply now we have this situation this axis to be placed over this not good because I have to rotate this to be somewhere near the final position constrain this axis with this axis ok F6 and now we have the full mechanism we must add some uh, screws and nuts place this uh, nut to be placed with insertion of these two circles apply and the other one must be here this circle and or any one this or this but not this one because it is another face okay the last is the screw place this standard screw which is to be placed with uh, insert but aligned this circle aligned 
with this very face apply and the other one the same face on the other lid right here okay good let's try the movement we rotate one of these ends and we have the movement very clear and very interesting of course you see they are placed okay we can apply uh, controlled movement by applying the drive tool to do this we have to constrain with an angle angle first solution the plane of this this is uh, the first shaft the plane is this one to be at zero degrees with a similar plane of the stand I mean this plane parallel to be parallel okay and now we have a constraint which can be used to apply drive you know this let's place here 360 multiplied by 2 two full rotations to be applied on this mechanism if you uh, make this assembly and this uh, movement I uh, prevent you that <laughs> there is a mistake somewhere i wait your comments where is and which is that mistake to be corrected together the first one who answer to my question uh, will uh, receive a nice gift a salute from romania <laughs> what else that's all for today Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.